There's a lot, so much stuff you don't know in this world. It's like amazing. I was talking to somebody. I was at this, I was at this meeting, right? It was, I was a speaker at the Salt Convention. It was a convention every year in Vegas called Salt. You are a royal priesthood. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. Don't be naive in saying, well, this doesn't matter. I'm telling you, everything matters. There are some things that matter more than others, but there isn't anything that doesn't matter. Most people are totally okay with decent, but I ain't talking about most people I'm talking about. You want to be a great one. You want to be great. Let me break it down to you. Listen to me. Are you only okay with excellence? Until excellence is the only option, we got something to work on. Until excellence is the only thing you'll settle for. We got work to do, my friend, before you can be excellent. You must first see what excellence looks like. I want you to make a conscious decision that from this day forward, excellence will be the description of everything you do like high performance and high achievement. It's just who you have become. You may feel that because you're feeling so much, you're so good and you're so excellent at feeling, but you're not realizing that you're growing from your failures. And it's a gathering of billionaires from around the world. They gather, they make decisions of what they're going to do. And I was a keynote speaker. And I told the guy when he asked me, I said, sir, I'm not a billionaire. Why are you having me speak? He said, we know exactly who you are. I said, but we're intrigued with your story, how you come from nothing to get to where you are. So why don't you just come share your story? So I'm out here and I'm talking to these billionaires. And it's amazing because you know the average billionaire in this, in this world is a billionaire because they come from money. Most people that become billionaires don't come from the dirt. They inherit 200 million and they turn it into a billion. So they don't know what you know. They don't know shit about no hard days and no rough ass nights and so. The problem with many of you is that you got fooled. You got complacent. You got lazy. Somewhere along the line, you lost your enthusiasm, your optimism. You lost your hunger. A high school teacher who one day changed my life. I was waiting on another student, and when he came in, he said to me, young man, go to the board and write what I'm about to tell you. And I said, I, I can't do that, sir. He said, why not? I said, I'm not one of your students. He said, it doesn't matter, follow my directions now. I said, I can't do that, sir. He said, why not? I said, because I'm educable, mentally retarded. And he came from behind his desk and he looked at me. He said, don't ever say that again. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. I was talking to them and they were fascinated. And after the thing was over, the billionaires were talking. There was a couple of young guys there. And this guy graduated from college and he said, right, he said, yeah, I'm here uh, to bring you all, uh, my talent to you all's attention. And uh, he started talking. He says, yeah, I have a degree in this, that, and the other. And I have another degree and I have three degrees. And that's what I do. And, you know, a couple of billionaires was there was like real hustlers. And they said, well, so you have all these degrees. So what are you offering? Well, if I need to, I'll go back to school and get another degree. He said, if you have three degrees and they're not working, why would you go get another one of them? And I, I just looked at him and I went, wow. Because when you talk to them dudes that make that other kind of money, they're not interested in your degree. They don't need a degree. If they need a degree, they'll hire somebody with them. But if you're really interested in being successful, it's not your education that's going to make you successful. And as he talked, my heart began to beat fast. Tears began to run by my eyes, and I was in the back just listening to him because the speech he was giving, that speech was for me. And he said, Les Brown, he said, if you want to do anything worthwhile in life, you've got to be hungry. And what we said to each other is, I can get through this. I will get through this. I must get through this. So, so I just need to think about three people in your family that you love. Three people. Three people that you love. Three people. You got them? They there? You got them? This is what I need you to do for me. Because some of you have a hard time staying motivated for a straight hundred days. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you're doing. You have some days where you just want to hit the snooze button, raise your hand for me. You want to hit the snooze button. Right? So watch this. This is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about Granny, you got to think about, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for Brad? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? You're becoming more powerful. You are educating yourself. You are realizing that your excellence is being nourished. It's going to get stronger. You are planning to see. 
I'm letting you know right now that you are a possible individual, you are a possible being, you are a possible reality. And this is the time for you to recognize that don't stop now, don't give up on now, find the way that you are recognizing within yourself and build on it. Just like clay, you must shape it, you must mold it. And you must make it a masterpiece. How many times have you said you couldn't do it? Okay. We all pity the man who says, well, this is the only place I let down. Not true. Key to take home. Every letdown affects the rest of your performance. Every letdown affects the rest. This is part of the educational process on personal development. If you don't take the walk around the block, you probably won't do the apple a day. If you don't do the apple a day, you probably won't consist, you know, start building your library. If you don't build your library, you probably won't keep a journal and you won't take pictures and then you won't do this, you won't do wise things with your money, you won't do wise things with your time, you won't do wise things with your possibilities and relationships. And the first thing you know, six years of that accumulated and we say you have messed up. If you put as much time into working on winning as you put into thinking about losing, you'd already be a champion. When we gonna get tired of just knowing and seeing successful people and become one of them? Time is out to, to sit up here and just make these average decisions, to be make these irrelevant decisions that don't change you, don't change your family, don't change society, don't change your environment, don't change the world. It's time to make decisions that make you a legend. We see it every day. But the only difference, baby, you gonna make a choice to just be remembered, or you gonna make a choice to become a legend. We gotta stop quitting. We gotta stop giving up. All this TGIF, TGIF. It is now TGI. and you're not right mind. We live as though we really appreciate that opportunity. How many times did you say that you didn't have the strength? How many times? How many more times when is enough gonna be enough? When are you gonna rise up and realize your true potential? When are you gonna commit to your real truth? Because your words matter. Keep it moving, be productive, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct. Your business, this is it, your journey, can be seen millions and millions of miles away in everything that you think. Therefore, you shall be, be greater than your fears. So the whole key to reversing that process now is to start picking up these disciplines. Now here's the positive side. Every new discipline affects the rest of your discipline. Every new one affects the rest. Why action is so important. The least action, the smallest action. Take it. When you start accomplishing and the value starts to return from that one action, it'll inspire you to do the next one and the next one and the next one. You start walking around the block, it'll inspire you to get an apple. Get an apple, it'll inspire you to get a book. Get a book, it'll inspire you to get a journal. Get a journal, it'll inspire you to grow, develop some skills. All disciplines affect each other. Every lack affects the rest. Every new affects the rest. The key is to diminish the lack and set up the new. And you've started a whole new life process. Key. Also, one more thought on discipline. Here's the greatest value of discipline. Self-worth. Self-esteem. And every time I see a post, every time I see a tweet, or, or just anything, I want to ask the person, why are you thanking God it's Friday? Hello, newsflash. Tomorrow is Saturday. The day after that is Sunday. The day after that is Monday. What are you thanking God it's Friday for? Because you're preparing to quit. You're preparing to stop what you're doing. You're prepared to clock out. You're prepared to go home. And you're in the mental mindset.
not. I dare you to get prepared for the, the challenges of your life by, by getting rid of comfort. I dare you. I dare you when you find that job that, that if you don't have to the work that you want, and then when you get there, you take the stairs. I dare you not to take the break, baby. I dare you to work through your lunch. I dare you when it's hot that you work back when it's cold and work longer. I dare you to learn about the new day that you didn't know yesterday. I dare you to. Be stronger than your doubts because your mind is very powerful music. Stop being sorry and start doing better. Better within you, better than anyone has ever seen. Better than your mistakes, better than your failures, better than those that doubted you. Lift yourself up, stop with the excuses, stop doing things that you know that is not right, doing all the things that will make you better. Depends on how you think, how you feel, what you do. How you perceive there are going to be times that you're going to want to give up, but you don't have the permission to do so, you must carry on the good fight.